the media manipulation that shoved the Red Sox best player off short and took $10 million from a productive deal means no 295 OBP in the five through nine holes. I understand what the words mean in and of themselves. Are you suggesting that the Red Sox brass either succumbed or in some way was swayed to some degree by media, the media love for Stephen Drew? I, I think so. Um, I mean, I, Listen, I, I have great admiration for Scott Boris, who did a great job orchestrating all this, because there really were other um, major options for Stephen Drew to go to. Um, and, he, and Stephen does love Boston and so forth, but there was so much about, oh, you know, we, both guards can't play short. The, the, the fact is, when you get into a situation which they're in, which they're trying to develop young players and contend at the same time, you go through some periods. Now, Obviously, we're in a period where you start worrying about what exactly is Jackie Bradley. Mm. But on the other hand, I mean, it wasn't like Bogarts was terrible. And um, I thought that there was so much made of we need have to have Stephen Drew, we have to have Stephen Drew. Bill Brooks is hurt. But what is the long-term impact of that? You keep moving him back and forth. We're talking about a guy who's close to the youngest player in the American League, regular, regular player, who is – Second in wins of public placement of all shortstops in the major leagues behind Troy Tulowitzki. I mean, what what did this really accomplish? When, in fact, the, the greater need, in my mind, was another bat, uh, particularly the outfield. So you take $10 million, you put it in Stephen Drew, and now Middlebrook comes back, and he sits or goes to Pawtucket, um, and they don't have that bat in the outfield. I, I, just, I, I just think that it, it, it just got a little crazy. And I really felt day in, day out that it was as if uh, I had to read and hear that it was Bogart's fault that they weren't winning. And I, I just thought that was silly. Well, I'm all for <clears throat> knocking the media around, Peter, for that. But instead of the media manipulation, shouldn't you say Ben Sherrington's <laughs> dumb move shoved the Red Sox best player off short and took $10 million from a productive deal? I mean, Well, I think the coaches and players wanted Drew back very badly. And he was a you know, huge defensive part of their winning last year. I, I buy that. Um, and I think there was so much, okay, let's get Drew here. He's so shorthanded. He's very reliable. If he goes and hits, it will turn out to be a, a good move because, let's face it, I mean, they're, they were, what, 10-23 and 23 against right-handed starting pitchers when they signed him, and he's, you know, Stephen doesn't hit left-handers. Uh, it's basically it platoons only against right-handers. I get that, but the fact is, he's, you know, since he hurt his ankle in Arizona, he's a two forty two hitter. Is that because of the concussions in the ankles, or is it because that's what he is? I mean, and, and that's uh, I'm not sure that I see where their problems were solved with this with this move. For more, visit weei.com/video.